the wives can communicate with each other if they put the have a healthy intention mm -hmm. to communicate in a mature way that doesn't hurt the other, right? Because we know we're going to say something that's hurtful or we're trying to hurt someone. And when she ready, I'll be here. Because in my mind, it was always, we're one big family. We're Team Amu Jagged. We're this, this, that, and other. So that's always been there. So it was like, you know what? Keep working on me. When this happens, you know, Allah Hawaii, that's what's going to happen. And you were going to move forward from that. What she trying to tell you is I was real hard then. Okay? <laughs> We just gonna say that because she's so great at just oh, making me so I am I you. Do. I am you. No, I'm talking, <laughs> girl. I, I'm so hard to get. It was kind of like the middle school or high school that guy you liked that didn't really like you back, and he was just like, nah. It, <laughs> and then you find out, yeah, he likes me. It was one at all. So what she did, I'm gonna tell you what happened. The moment was she texted me. And I remember her saying, before my nerves get the best of me, da 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 da, right? This private text, so I'm not gonna just roll it all out there because it's it, the relationship that we have outside of social media, we have a private sisterhood type of relationship. So I'm not gonna just roll that text out. But I said, now I can work with this person. See, because I was talking to her and she talked to me and it wasn't going between Coach Nadir. Now, it wasn't like he was like, she said this. Okay, she said this about you. Now, then she said it wasn't that, but I was asking him questions that she needed to answer. And he gave me answers, but he can't give them like he can someone that they're not, they, they weren't designed for him, right? So he's going to answer them as a husband, as an introvert, as an INTJ. He's going to do all that. He's just going, boom, it wasn't that. Boom, she knew I wasn't going to divorce you. Boom. And I'm like, wait, wait, now I need a little more than this. So when she texted me that day and we had lunch, I said, okay, now I get to meet her outside of the label of wife. We get to meet each other as two women that happen to be married to the same husband. We didn't make our conversation about him. So that's how we, that, that was the moment when she texted me. I'm sure she wanted to talk to me years before that. But as I stated earlier, I'm going to talk when I want to because <laughs> I was being hard at it. <laughs> I'm a Jersey girl at heart, but I'm not from Jersey, never been there. But I'm just saying. <laughs> so shout out to Coach Nyla for having courage because I'm not easy to approach. I knew that. So, you know. <laughs> well, I am cracking up over here, okay? I, uh, side question for, the, for Coach Nyla and Coach Fatima. Do you think that in every polygynous relationship that there needs to be that direct conversation with wife two, three, or four, you know, four, one, two, three, or four? Do you think that that's a conversation that needs to be had one-on-one? -on -one? And then, you know, collectively, like if there's four, do you think that that's a conversation that needs to be had? You know, Here's the thing, I believe that, <laughs> I, I believe that the husband is imam and sometimes people overstep, you know, I believe that wives do that. And that's where a lot of um, issues come from too, um, because it's like, well, you know, he can say one thing and you're not listening to what he's saying. <laughs> It can tell you that this is, you know, because he can possibly see the bigger picture of it all. And then we're just seeing this one track mind type of thing. So what I, what I believe, you know, so as, as far as best practice, yeah, I do believe that everybody should communicate. I believe that everybody in the family should connect because you're a family, you know, you're connected that way. What I don't believe is that, the 
that the husband gets overstepped in order for that to happen. Right. Um, because I do believe that it takes the, uh, it, it changes the dynamic. And it does take, we as women, when we get married, I, and I, I'm almost speaking for many women out there, that we, we are not looking for a punk. <laughs> we're not looking for somebody that we gonna walk over. We're not. We're looking for a person that's a leader, you know, the provider, the maintainer. We're looking for someone with those qualities. If we as wives are overstepping that, then we take that away from them, you know. So when it comes to that, if you have I, one of my things, like if you have certain issues, you can come to them with the issues. I like that. Leaders, true leaders, kings, they'll sit there and say, you know, okay, I hear this, and they'll see if it's petty or not, or whatever the case may be. It's like, you know what? Then we're gonna have a we're gonna have a meeting. <laughs> then we're gonna do this. Right. We're gonna have that, you know, type of thing. Instead of going like, okay, well, I'm just gonna we've seen that before where a husband will say, you know, hey, I need this to happen this way. I need you to not do this. And she'll be like, well, you know what? I know he told me not to, but I'm getting anyway. And then now I'm feeling some type of way because she told me something that I wish I didn't hear and blah, blah, blah. And all this other stuff. And you're like, yeah, because you didn't listen. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're you're, 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 you overstepped the bounds. You know, you right. bit the hand, Marty. You bit the hand. You know? <laughs> Pardon the interruption. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that you could thrive better in the community that's more supportive? Now, I already know the answer to that. But did you know that Outstanding Personal Relationships actually has a community that is supportive and where we really hang out a lot? It has a number of areas and things like, for example, I, I deal with the men in the Kings and Men section where we discuss a number of different men issues, whether it's religion related, parenting related, whatever it may be, this is where we communicate and connect. And as an introvert, I love the idea of an online community. <laughs> so um, we have that. And to be able to speak with like-minded people speak with other wives, you know, wives, whether you're an incoming wife, whether you're a first wife, you're a wife, period, in general, and you only practice in monogamy, whatever the case may be, to be able to be in a community with people who understand what you're going through, understand any type of issues you have, and also being in a place where you have support from others, where it's not all over social media for everybody else to see. Yes, and it is a safe space. So if you guys want to see us, or if you want to connect with us, come to our community. Indeed, and like they said, it's private, all right? So you don't have to worry about your stuff being all over the place or all on social media, try to find the comments and go scroll. We have the subjects, we have all this type of stuff. Just go to outstandingpersonalrelationships.com, look on the top of the page, click on community. We look forward to seeing you there. Back to the video. So it's just certain things that, you know, I do believe, I do believe the conversations should be had. But I also believe that it's a proper way to go about the conversations. Because uh, with Coach Fatima and I, the conversations did go, it didn't go between him like that, but he was aware of the conversations. Like he was mm -hmm. aware of her feelings, he was aware of my feelings. Um, and even to the point where we're like, okay, we'll reach out then. We'll reach out then. Because and he knew what I wanted to do. You know, and I'm like, oh, but I don't want to Sounds know, easy enough. You know, type of thing. So, but if I would have just did that, and then he knows her better than I know because he's been around her more. He knows me better than, you know, because he's been around me more. You know what I'm saying? So it's that type of thing where it's like, okay, nah, mm -hmm. probably won't be best to do it that way. Uh, probably be better to do it that way. You know, so it's these yeah. type of things that we need to make sure that the family is involved because the bigger picture is what we're striving for for the whole, you know, for the entirety of it all in mind, that's who we should be able to go to and get the guidance from. And we should go to the imam of the family, the leader of the family first, and then start moving forward to building on to things as far as that. And I also think along, in addition to that, I think that women can, the wives can communicate with each other if they put the, have a healthy intention mm -hmm to communicate in a mature way that doesn't hurt the other, right? Because we know we're gonna say something that's hurtful or we're trying to hurt someone. Mm -hmm. That's what's so beautiful about being Muslim, being, being judged by Allah on our intentions. But we know if we're intending to be petty or be hurtful or overshare to the point where we're hurting our co-wives. So if they're mature enough to have the conversation and create boundaries within that conversation, 
then then by all means. However, it's what Coach Nyla was saying. We're not going, if the husband says, look, I don't think you should do that today. He doesn't have to put a tail on the end and say, because she right. said he won't. Just listen. Just listen to him. Because he's in, in, in between the women in the capacity of husband, not of wife. Not of wife. So the emotions of that conversation, he's not dealing in the emotion of that because he's not a wife, right? So we needed to respect the fact, like she was saying, that he's the one there in the forefront that has both stories. So yes, if they're mature enough, by all means. But if the husband is saying, wait a minute, hold on, we got to listen too. 